I class my name as Muhammad Prince. This is my week five discussion post. So an overview, I'm going to go over the change, the overarching theory, and then my three themes as well. So the change that's going to take place, um, it's the river, it's that all Riverside County Sheriff's deputies must wear body cameras. So the overarching theory is transformational leadership. And transform, transformational leadership is a theory where the leader works with the followers, um, more of a collaborative style of leadership. Um, they work with the followers to identify the changes that are needed. Um, they then create a vision of inspiration, um, a vision through inspiration and motivation, and they execute the change with a group of highly committed followers. This is similar to the, to the democratic style of leadership, um, which is the opposite of autocratic where a leader uses all power. Um, so this is important to have uh, people in place, uh, very important followers in place to help uh, create a unified uh, shared vision. So you can see some of the uh, aspects of transformational leadership are modeling the way, challenging the process, enabling others to act, inspiring a shared vision and encouraging the heart. So you can see here um, with the first theme organizational structure, um, you got the, you know, the, the head chief of, you know, police right here. Um, you got some department heads or, you know, like generals, and then you got the whole entirety of the group um, of the organization. So um, transformational leadership is important because the, the leader and, you know, the, you know, the, the department heads are, are going to be projecting a shared vision to the entirety of the group. Um, and that's really how you make that change. Um, and um, you can see here, uh, one of the first theories is Lynn Bloom's uh, theory, um, which is, you know, muddling through and incremental change. Um, this is often an important tactic for dealing with relatively small details. With a change as important as and uh, controversial as mandatory body cameras, every little detail is important. And dealing with these small details involved with the changes where incrementalism will be an important theory to apply. Applebee's government is different. Um, Applebee, um, he found that government exists precisely for the reason um, to uh, have people in place to promote um, and protect, um, public business concerns, um, and, and public interest. Um, and he also found that, uh, it's important to have competent government officials. And I think that that's probably where the, the first part of this change happens is with competent government officials who can really carve out that budget for this. That's why I'm going to utilize this theory, um, in the budget, uh, section as well. So Frederick Taylor, constant, um, I, I would use Taylor's scientific management for constant analysis of the changes, meaning um, making sure every deputy is using the body cameras, um, they're using it for their entirety of their shift, um, and uh, and how that that change with the mandatory body cameras is affecting, you know, maybe complaints within the department by pedestrians or you know, uses of force or even pedestrians lying on, you know, the, the, the deputies um, and filing false complaints. Um, so how it kind of creates transparency um, within the, the Riverside County Sheriff's Department. So I think it's important to use Taylor's scientific management for a constant analysis of the changes. And then um, part, Mary Parker follows the giving of orders. This is important because um, in, with this change, you don't want it to seem like it's coming just straight from the chief of police. It's it's a uh, coming from you know the politicians. It's coming from the entire the entirety of the the department. So um, with um, with the giving of orders, it proposes that one person does not give the orders to another person, but both should agree to take their orders from the situation. Um, if orders are simply part of the situation. The question of someone giving and receiving orders doesn't come up. Everyone accepts the orders that are dictated 
or given by the situation. So that's really what's really the way that I would go about making this change. Um, and uh, the, that's one of the best leadership uh, theories that I would use along with transformational leadership because um, it's, it's a unified version of, uh, of management. Um, and then Douglas Murray McGregor, human side of enterprise. This is important because um, it deals with human resources um, in the organization, uh, as well as, you know, human nature and behavior. This will show us how the pedestrians and the, the deputies will respond to this change. Um, and that, that's a very important part aspect of this change is, is the response from the parties that are involved. So uh, my second theme is budgeting and financial implications. I used Applebee's. The government is different here again because I believe that this uh, making this carving out the budget for this, which is which is very expensive. Body cameras on all officers running for the entirety of their shifts. There's analysis that comes with that. There's constant monitoring. There's probably going to be different positions that come out of this, um, and uh, just creating a budget for that comes through competent government officials and just even pushing the idea through um, to fruition comes through competent government officials. Um, and then also uh, all of these theories can be applied. Grods, Grodzins um, can be used um, and uh, even, even Schick's uh, the stages of budget reform. Um, he found that budget is a battleground of American politics. Um, everybody fights for, um, for funds. Agencies strive for more money every year. Offices budget for more control over their spending. Um, and this is where uh, the competent government official from Applebee's theory um, really is utilized because, um, you know, uh, Schick said that these government officials go you know, to battle or to war for the their budget. So this is where these two theories can really be weaved together. You have a competent government official who goes to battle for this budget in order for this to take place, this change to take place. Um, and then theme three, ethical implications. All of these can be used because all these theories touch on morality and ethics and, you know, virtue theory. Um, the, the theory that I would use the most, um, I think that, that could really be utilized is utilitarianism and utilitarianism is the doctrine that actions are right if they are useful for the benefit of a majority. I believe that utilitarianism could be applied to this situation specifically because the body cameras are benefiting the majority of people, including the officers and pedestrians. Um, the moral... The morality behind that is that it, it helps everyone. It helps the officer from, you know, false reports. It helps the pedestrian from uses of force. Um, all parties involved are being helped. However, there's going to be com complications that come from these, this big of a change. Um, and that's where the natural law theory can be applied, um, as well as virtue theory, um, and how, um, virtue ethics, um, take their inspiration from Aristotle who declared a virtuous person is someone who has an ideal character trait, um, which is derived from internal tendencies um, and is learned through moral virtue, primarily through habit and practice rather than through reasoning and instruction. So I think with this, we're going to see where those, you know, good cops come out. Um, the virtuous people will, will really be shown because they're going to be, on camera 24 seven during their shifts. So I just want to say thank you for viewing my video.